The Dennis O'Keefe Show. Starring Dennis O'Keefe. In All Around Town. Also starring Hope Emerson, Ricky Kelman, Eloise Hart, Eddie Ryder. Brought to you by Oldsmobile, in behalf of your local authorized Oldsmobile quality dealer. Tip to my loyal readers. If you expect to see the new musical show, Sing Song Story, I would suggest that you get in line early. This show is sure to be a big hit. It has everything. Oriental atmosphere, charm, freshness, amusing situations, and clever dialogue. And although the cast is composed of unknowns, I predict that... <laughs> that is not exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hal. <clears throat> you didn't expect me to take down all that fall through all about sing-song story, did you? Why not? Because sing-song story is a terrible show. The critics panned it. I like it. The music was trite, the lyrics were stupid, the comedy was sick. Now, what makes you say that it was a good show? My back. Your back? That's right, my back. If I can sit for two and a half hours in a the theater and my back doesn't hurt me, I know I've seen a good show. <laughs> Maybe you were just numb. <laughs> now, let's get back to work, shall we? Now, don't go out on a limb again. You're putting your judgment against every critic in New York. Elliot, a man has to have faith in his own judgment. Now, I like Sing Song Story, and I'm sticking to it. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. Although the cast is composed of unknowns, it's... Hmm. That's funny. What's funny? See that, that, that fella down there in the corner. And what I need is a pair of binoculars. Oh, thanks. Since when have we had these? Oh, since they opened a new model agency right across the... Uh, <laughs> they think that every office should have a pair of binoculars. Mm. <laughs> Elliot. Elliot, that's Frankie Calypso. Here, take a look. Right down there, you see him? Oh, boy, could I let a fire under the police department. Well, Frankie Calypso? Well, outside the fact that Frankie has blonde hair and this man has dark hair, and that Frankie doesn't have a mustache and this man has a mustache, and that Frankie is five foot nine and this man is six foot, and that Frankie is doing from 10 to 20 years in Sing Sing, and this man is walking the streets, yes. There is a slight resemblance. <laughs> That is Frankie Calypso. That's the way he lights his cigars. And that's the way he walks, too. Take this for the column. Oh. A memo to the police department. Somebody at headquarters is napping. This reporter today saw Frankie Calypso, supposedly doing 10 to 20, walking up and down the avenue in broad daylight. In broad daylight. Yeah, get on that right away, please. Ah, Benny, you may serve it now. Ah, Miss Hadley, it is always a pleasure to see you. Thank you, Vittorio. But Mr. Town is late. Late? I'm on my third glass of breadsticks. I hope he comes in a good mood. I have something very special today. Well, I hope it's food. A new lasagna, <laughs> lasagna Napoleone Bonaparte, salsa di pomodoro alla Montova. Perhaps Mr. Town can mention it in his column. It is my masterpiece. Mm. Que bello. Well, the mm, sold me. I'll have an order. Benny, <laughs> I'll have the chef prepared to orders. And when Mr. Town comes in, we'll surprise you. <laughs> hey, Johnny, more bread sticks for Miss Hadley. Excuse me. Oh, sing along, ping song, is a love song, is a spring song, is a tingling love song. Oh, so sorry, late. Did you have a rough time at the dentist? At the dentist? Well, I what? What are you talking about, the dentist? Well, I heard you groaning. Oh, hardy, har, har. I was singing, and you know it. Let's sing a song, love song, from the musical by the same name. Catchy tune, huh? 
That's a tune? Yes, haunting. And the lyrics, they're so simple, it's what makes it wonderful. Now, you listen to this. Sing a song, love song, is a spring song, is a ring song, is... I thought I told you to wait in a rickshaw. Is a tingling love song. See? You did have a rough time at the dentist, didn't you? Now, you're gonna come crawling when it's in the top ten. It has as much chance of being a hit as the show has of lasting a week. Well, what are you talking about? It's one of the best musicals to hit Broadway in years. How everybody hated it. It even got bad reviews in the Ladies' Garment Workers' Bulletin. <laughs> I liked it. And the play I was handling publicity for, you knocked. When all the critics thought it was great. How I'll be honest with you, I think you've lost your cotton-picking sense of value. Well, I still think you're beautiful. Now, do you want to argue about that? <laughs> Come on, let's order, huh? I already did, and here it comes. Oh, fine. Editorial, my most brilliant work of art for your approval, Mr. Adam. Thank you. Hmm. Lasagna, Napoleana, Bonaparte. Salsa di pomodori alla mantava. I now pronounce you spaghetti and meatball. <laughs> Great. The greatest. Please try it. Oh, I'd be delighted to. Do you mind if I, uh, start? No, go right ahead. It's overwhelmed. It is delicious. He can't speak. He's so impressed. He's trying to tell me that he loves it. Have some more, please. Have some more. It's awful. <laughs> awful? Well, it's not your fault, Vittorio, but something in it, it, it tastes spoiled. Spoiled? My lasagna Napoleone Bonaparte? Mm, well, maybe Napoleon liked it, but I don't. <laughs> this is an insult. You have insulted Vittorio's restaurant. But I said... You have insulted Vittorio. Yeah, but I did You I... have insulted the chef. You have insulted Napoleon Bonaparte. I'm sure Napoleon couldn't care less. Huh? <laughs> you have tested. Well, I tried it, and I like it fine. It's now, very Sharon, good. Got... Uh, allow me, please. Go ahead. You'll find out. Hmm. It tastes fine. Because it is fine. It is delicious. It is my masterpiece. You, you are out of your mind, Mr. Town. Don't shout. You come over here and tell me my food is spoiled. How about my customers? He says that my food is spoiled. He says that I'm trying to poison you. What do you think of that? Ah, ma guarda quello lì, ma guarda cosa mi ha fatto. I'll sue you for slander. You're driving my customers away. Che peccato. Oh, hi, Conrad. Say, what's a five-letter word for all mixed up? Town. T-O-W-N-E. <laughs> what's all this tripe about Frankie Calypso running loose? I saw him. I saw him with my very own binoculars. Well, get yourself some new binoculars. The warden at Sing Sing just phoned me that Frankie is safely tucked in his cell. Uh, these do not lie. And Elliot can back up that statement with some pretty good phone numbers. Well, just the same, you get busy and ride a retraction. The other papers are going to take us for a real ride on this. I am backing my judgment, Conrad. I saw Frankie Calypso. Your judgment isn't worth two cents. I know you. We... Mr. Haltown? You don't look at me. Uh, I'm Haltown. Complaint and suit brought against you by Vittorio's restaurant. <laughs> Vittorio's? Well. Ha-ha! Stuck your neck out again, eh? <laughs> what are they suing for? Two million dollars. The complaint charges that Mr. Town defamed and maligned the cooking of Vittorio's. Oh. Well, well, well. Two million dollars. Are you Mr. Town's attorney? No, I'm Conrad Morland, publisher of the News Chronicle. Oh, I... I have one for you, too. Mr. Vittorio is including the News Chronicle in the suit. <laughs> Two million dollars? Yeah, Why, you... Oh, don't take it so hard, Conrad. We'll go Dutch tree. <laughs> Half a million apiece. <laughs> one million dollars at the rate of one hundred dollars a week. You can pay Victorio off in approximately one hundred and ninety-two years. Yeah, one hundred and ninety-two wow. years. Well, I'll never make it because my credit cards expire before that. <laughs> Ellie, a true blue friend and loyal assistant, do you think that I am losing my sense of judgment? Of course not. Yeah. Just because the country's foremost drama critics say you're wrong about sing-song story? 
and just because the entire law enforcement organization of New York State say that you are wrong about Frankie Calypso? And $2 million says you're wrong about Victoria's lasagna? <laughs> then why should I say that you've lost your sense of judgment? <laughs> et tu, Brutus. Brute. Et tu, Brute? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's right, Brute. Oh, Mr. Morland was right. You are overworked, and you do need a vacation. I do not need a vacation. I'm as sharp as I ever was. To prove it to you, I just remembered that I have to call Sarge and tell her I'm not coming home to dinner. Plaza's sick. I happen to know my own phone. City dog, pal. Hey, hey. You know, Switzerland is nice this time of year. But I don't feel like taking a vacation. I feel fine. Do you? Sure. Well, don't I? Well, don't you? Yes, yeah. Sure. Well, that's what's important. You ought to know how you feel. Sure. Feel fine. Elliot Moreland accusing me of striking out. Oh, I've been striking out with you for years, but I just switch perfumes and come back fighting. Questioning all my opinion. What am I, male or female? Well, you're, you're a... Uh, uh, oh, you do have a problem. Or I have a problem. Oh, <laughs> Karen, you know darn well that I know you're a female. Why don't you take this female out dining and dancing and we'll cha-cha away all of your indecisions? You've got a date. Only I don't know where I'd like to go dining or dancing. I... <laughs> hey, maybe Elliot's right. Maybe I have been overworking. Oh, Hal, just because you missed the target on a few opinions doesn't mean that you can't make it. Anybody home? Hi, Karen. Hi. Hello, Hal. Jocelyn, I haven't seen you in ages. You look simply great. Just wonderful, a picture of health. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't want to interrupt anything. Karen, I'll drop by later. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Hal. Well, what's the matter? She does. She looks great. The poor woman just got out of the hospital. <laughs> Henry, I refuse to believe that you're losing your judgment. Uh, uh, no more, Sarge. Everything that I've done today is wrong. I wouldn't even hazard a guess as to what day it is. Oh, Henry. If I said it was Tuesday, it would be Wednesday. If I said it was Wednesday, it would be Tuesday. Lie down. Why? It's Thursday. <laughs> Hey, Dad, could you help me with my homework? Shh. Your father is resting. I'll help you with your homework tonight. Come on. But that's so good at American history. Well, I just wanted his opinion. It isn't working tonight. <laughs> All right, now, what's the first question? What famous Americans made the following well-known statements? Number one, our country right or wrong? Oh, well, that was Daniel Webster. I thought Jefferson. No. No, I think it was Daniel Webster. Stephen Decatur. <laughs> Stephen Decatur? Our country, right or wrong, Stephen Decatur. Learned that when I was in the fourth grade in school. Maybe it was the fifth grade. Stephen Decatur. Are you sure, Henry? Sure, I'm sure. Well, at least I... I think I'm sure. Of course, you understand this is, uh, well, it's only my opinion. I, I might be wrong. Matter of fact, I, I probably am. Rub it out. Let me see. Our country, right? Patrick Henry. <laughs> Patrick Henry. Oh, no, 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 no. I meant, I meant Henry Clay. <laughs> Henry Clay. That's right. Henry Clay, our country right or wrong. Henry Clay, Patrick, Patrick Henry, Henry. Uh, uh, Patrick Clay? Patrick Clay? Oh, no, 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 it couldn't be that, could it? Uh, well, let me see what you've got so far. <laughs> well, at least it's a neat hole. I'll do what you first said, Dad. Stephen Decatur. Well, let's go on to the second question, shall we? Okay. First, I'll get a fresh eraser. <laughs> I would rather be right than president. Who said that? Uh, that was Patrick Henry. Hello? Uh, I mean Henry Clay. It's Elliot. Uh, hold on, Elliot. This time I know I'm right. Rub it up. 
Elliot, I will not be down to the office tomorrow. I'm going on that vacation. If I can only make up my mind where I want to go. <laughs> Sir, off on your vacation? Yeah, well, I, I think so. Where have you decided to go? Oh, you never should have asked that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let us not go into a tailspin, shall we? Here at Fitzroy and Wiedemeyer, the customer is key. We cater to your personal taste. Now, somewhere in this vast collection is a precise article that will turn your vacation into an exhilarating experience. Of that, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're sure. At least that's one of them. <laughs> Let me see. Where do I picture you? On the sunlit reaches of the Caribbean, pursuing a record marlin. Well, I get seasick sometimes. <laughs> or on the snowy heights of Mount Hood, driving your ice axe into the glacier. Yeah, that would be. No, no, I get a nosebleed when I get up to it. <laughs> I think I have. Yes? Yes. It's the very thing for you, sir. I can see you now slaloming away over two inches of powder. <laughs> Here comes the jump. The jump. You soar through the air like an eagle. <laughs> well, will you take it? Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> very well. We'll try something else. Yeah, well, uh, you try and find something else. Then. Fun while it lasted. <laughs> yes? It's you. It's you and your true essence, spiraling down to the coral floor of a silent ocean. Suddenly you come upon a sleeping rhinoceros. I mean, there you are, galloping across the plain, driving your ice axe, casting flies, sharks, moose, sled dogs, mush, mush, mush! You'll take it? You'll take it? Won't you take it? <laughs> I like my work. I like my work. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. That's your own suit! <laughs> Travel folders come from. Ooh, ooh, your father. He can't make up his mind where he's going on his vacation, so he's resting. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when he'd be afraid to make a decision. I wish he was afraid to help me with my homework. Oh, Randy, no. Well, I could have got a better mark on the hole in my paper. <laughs> oh. He was wrong again, huh? Yep, on every answer. Don't show it to him. This will really finish him. Yeah. I will show it to him. Like this. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, Dad, look what we got. What you got? A hundred percent. Hundred percent? No. Thought it's your homework, huh? Yeah. Hundred percent? <laughs> you mean you mean I was right about those quotations? I wasn't wrong? Of course not. Well, well, what do you know about that? See, that shows I can be right just like it.
Randy. Randy, who changed them? <laughs> anyway, it was a nice try, son. We going, Dad? Down to the office. Take my medicine. Believe me, you could. Please. I give up. You win. Hal, how could you do it? People have been turning in suspects all day, claiming they're Frankie Calypso. Headquarters is going crazy. And my client, Vittorio's restaurant, is not satisfied with purely pecuniary damages. We demand a retraction. Sing song story, the lasagna, Frankie, you've got to take it all back. Okay, okay. I'm licked. I was wrong. Elliot, take a retraction. Hal, in, in all your years... I know, Elliot, I know. But this day it happened, as it happens to all men, that Hal Town has to admit that he was wrong. The only thing to do is just be a big enough man to accept it, that's all. If you get a pencil? Yes, sir. To my readers, retraction. Sometimes a man's judgment just goes sour on him. Hello, Hal Town's office. No, Lieutenant Blanton. I now Blanton. wish to admit that I yeah. was completely wrong, mistaken, and in an error Blanton. when I identified gangster well, Frankie Calypso. But you did pick him it up. It has been proved to me now, beyond a question of a doubt, oh, that Frankie great. could not possibly. Have well, I'll be right down. Prison. I just heard that Calypso did escape. Somehow they slipped a double into prison and he was on the loose. <laughs> Thanks to your tip, we picked him up. Uh, no, no, Nick, no, no. <laughs> Therefore, when I identified Frankie Calypso, I was right. <laughs> you sure were. Yeah. Well, let's just scratch it out. All right, all right. But that doesn't get you off the hook on the lasagna. Uh, the lasagna, oh, yes, the lasagna. Ooh, well, you are right, sir. Absolutely right. And there, I am perfectly willing to admit that I was wrong. And I shall make a retraction. Well, Vittorio... Un momento per piacere, Mr. Town. Oh, I'm sorry, Vittorio. You'll have to excuse me. I'm very busy retracting. But, Mr. Town... I publicly apologize for my mistaken, biased, pig-headed opinion of Vittorio's wonderful... Uh, what's the matter with you, Vittorio? You look terrible. You all right? No, I'm not. Forgive me, Mr. Town. You were right about the lasagna. It made me sick. Sick. Thanks heaven you chased the customers away before they ate it. I fired the chef. I fired the underchef. Oh. Yeah. I just found out about Jocelyn. You were yeah. right, her looking great just having come out of the hospital. She had her face lifted. <laughs> well. <laughs> Sing a song, love song, is a spring song, is a ring song, is a ting along love song. <laughs> What in the world is this? I don't know. Mr. Town, after that item about Sing Song Story, there's been a line at the box office a mile long. Well, then it's a hit, like I predicted. Yes, and in appreciation, we wish to present you with this token of our esteem, a golden fortune cookie. A golden fortune cookie? Well, thank you very... Oh, there's a fortune in it, too. Let me see, it says... Uh, Man who shoots off mouth often enough, bound to ring gong sooner or later. <laughs> Hal Town's office. Hal? Hal? That was Randy. His teacher made a mistake. It was Stephen Decatur after all. Well, <laughs> there you are. What do you know about that? See? Guess I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, Hal, I won't be a poor loser. Come down to the club with me and we'll have a round of golf before dinner. Well, I don't know, Conrad. I, uh, I think it's gonna rain. Rain? The weather's perfect. It's a beautiful day. You're wrong, Hal. Uh, Questions? How about this? 
All you folks born on February 29th have a birthday this year. Sort of a leap year bonus. Your Oldsmobile dealer is celebrating leap year too, during his big February Festival of Values. February is the best time to discover there's still nothing like a rocket engine Oldsmobile. Great car, great value, great time to trade. Now, during your Oldsmobile dealer's Festival of Values. And remember, whenever you drive, drive safely. Oldsmobile, in behalf of your local authorized Oldsmobile quality dealer, invites you to tune in again next week for the Dennis O'Keefe Show.